And the aim of this, of Gabby's hair guys, is that we want to actually start to wear it back so you can let it sit and split in the middle or slick it back and then eventually you kind of wear something longer on the sides. So what we're hoping to do is actually start to transition the haircut through to something that can actually become a little bit longer. So what we can take from that guys is that we're not going to go in with high skin fade, we're not going to go in with any severe clip work because the idea is to allow this hair to grow and become a lot longer, all right? Now in terms of graduation guys, what we want to do is create something that flows very fluid and beautifully into the back. And you can see guys, that's pretty much happening already. Do you see that? If I just run the comb through it, the hope is that the comb will flow very, very seamlessly through to the back and the hair sits quite flush with the shape of the head. If that was dropping or the comb was getting stuck, then potentially I'd have a bit too much weight in there. It'd be a bit too heavy or not round enough. Okay, I wouldn't be falling the head too much. So the work that I have to do today, guys, in terms of this haircut is very, 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 very minimal. Okay, all we're going to do, very simply, is come through. And we're going to section off the top here, guys. We're going to section off the top. We're going to come down the middle, bridge of the nose, middle of the eyebrows, on down the middle, all the way through to the back. Now, here is another way in which we can put in a little box section, guys section through the back like so round that off and I'm isolating everything on the coronal guys isolating everything on the coronal what I'm going to do very very simply okay place my comb on the side of the head where the comb meets the head again there's my contour so I'm going to separate everything on that contour there guys I'm going to separate everything on that contour there. All right, so there we go. There's my little top part, my box section on the top. Move that out of the way. Contour, coronal, coronal, contour. Okay, round, flat, flat, and round. All right, section off everything on the coronal. See that? There's everything that is round. There's everything that is flat. Round and flat. Using the comb as reference to gauge the head shape at all times. Once again, guys, final little time, I'll show you this. Simply place your comb on the flat part of the head. Where the comb meets the head again, there's your round part, there's your contour. So we just section that off, guys. We just come through and we section that off. There's no problem. Section that off. A little bit more like this. Groom it all back. Come through nice and diagonal. Here we go. Complete control of the weight build up then. Do we see that? Section number one. Section number two. And then of course, section Number three, see that? Yeah, I have a lot more control over the weight build up then. Where if I go in one section, bang, it's one and done. That's it, that's the way I built up now. I have no more control over it. So if I go more diagonally, even if I go more horizontally, one, two, three, four, I have a lot more control over the weight build up. So I'm gonna use more diagonal to horizontal sections here, guys, to build a bit more weight than normal, all right? Everything past that belongs to the hairline. Everything before that, belongs to the side. See that? Bring it right on through. Everything on this hairline, guys, everything before it belongs to the side panel. Everything past it belongs to the top. Okay? So we separate that off. If I cut that long with the side, when she goes to style it back, it's gonna look like it's a bit missing, basically. So we just section all of that off there, guys. We just section all that off. Let me just neaten it up. First and foremost, there we are to give me more control, more tension. Here we go. Section number one, nice and horizontal. I'm gonna take that a little bit shorter. Here we go. Coming in, section nice and diagonal. Comb goes underneath. I'm going to lift the section on up. Okay, remove this little bit of length. Okay, and that's it. Now, I'm gonna move on to my next section, section number two. Uh, guys, am I on the round part of the head or the flat part of the head? Can anyone tell me? Round. Round. So therefore, what am I going to do? Over direct. Over direct. Two. Back to one. Okay, bringing it right back down to that last square point on the head. Two is going to come back to one. There's my difference in length. Do we see it? Not much, which is a good indicator. Underneath, we're going to come through. Step left now because I am working on the base. Bring it back down to section number one. Fingertip the first knuckle. Coming 
all the way around. And again, notice guys, every incision, I am taking a little step to the right this time. Taking a little step to the right. Here we go. Looking to endeavor to match it up to the work that I've just done previous. Some people are like, oh, take that. Oh, I'm after making a mistake. No, 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 no. That's a building way. It's meant to be triangular. That's the shape you want to see here. The expanded shape on the TV, finger and socket, electrocuted, <laughs> triangular. Yeah. Graduation is triangle. We want to see that way. People think, oh no, guys, that is what you want to see. Now, that means you've done it well. What well, means you've done it really well if you've got nothing to take off the top? Hey, hey. nothing. Don't want to touch it. Because look, no difference in length. If I took the length up, what were we looking for here? The longest short piece. See the longest short piece there? All same length. So now I have walls that match my roof a lot more volume or cause it to expand a lot more than what it normally would. So I'm going to come through, just visually assess where I feel the expansion is and just point cut that area on it very, very simply, very, very visually. Pretty much leave everything on the front, pretty happy with that. Okay, section by section, comb comes down, says it comes through, very, very careful, lift the hair on up. We drop the comb on in, drop it down into the comb, lift that on through one more time, drop the comb on in, bring it through the comb with the scissor, and all I'm gonna do is just literally refine that little weight line there. By elevating the comb on through, number two, right underneath that. All right, and number two comes right underneath it. Here we go, up and down with the clipper. And we're just gonna pop off that graduated line all the way into the back. Okay, all the way into the back. Just above the ear. Nice and horizontal. Low element of skin here, guys. Very low element of skin. John, nice and there. We love that. Right, perfect. Here we go. Here's our transition. Right underneath the number two. Going to keep that closed for now because there's not that much difference between it open and closed. Going to work the number two or the transition. Sorry, guys. Right underneath the number two. Once again, underneath the transition, over the ear. And again. And then finally the point five. And then the zero. Finally bringing that last little element of skin right at the very end. Point 0.5 at the back. There's the elasticity of the skin. If you do that and someone's skin doesn't move, don't use a cut rope. So you will cut them. No elasticity, no movement. So what we do, we pull in the opposite direction. If we want the cut rope to come up, I pull down. If we want the cut rope to come right, I pull left. Pull the opposite direction. So a little bit of tension on the skin, drive that on in and etch the line on in there. All right, nice and light. Do not push the hairline back any more than what it is. Just give that little clean line. Reduce all these little baby hairs here. All right, Gabby.